justification, where we're seeking justice now by the rectification of their behavior or taken out a pound of flesh from them. Yeah. Right? Where we're seeking justice in the world. You can't find justice in the world. Right? Yes, sir. You can't find justice in the world. You can't find justice from the, how people behave, right or wrong. Right. You can't find justice there. Right? Right. The injustice that is in the earth is called death. Yeah. Death is the father of all injustice that could happen to anyone. So the only justice there is from death is what? Life. 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 The only life that there is is found in God and what he's done to raise Jesus from the dead. Right? right? And so when we feel like life is, is being taken from us or we feeling lack because of something that happened, man, we want to understand that the only justice there is for us is found in what God's done to conquer death in the flesh of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we start fellowshipping with that. What it means that God conquered death. That God divorced our lives from the corruption in the world. That our life is not being held in the world. So our life can't be added to or taken from. That our life has been seated above with God in Christ. Yeah. Where neither the death or the sin that's in the earth can climb up into heaven and touch. Right? And all of a sudden we start finding ourselves being healed. Or we find justice being served to the effect that death was trying to have on our heart, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Somebody does something bad to me, the only reason why I care is because I think it can harm my life. Right. So the real issue is that I think my life has been harmed. Well, what's gonna fix the fact that I think my life has been harmed? That person or what God did in Jesus to conquer death, right? Yeah. And so now I, I look to God for justice instead of looking to the earth for justice, mm. right? And that frees me from getting my eyes focused on what people do or don't do. Right. And it gets my eyes focused on what God did to conquer death. And that will always serve justice yeah. in my heart, right. right? Jesus didn't look for justice from the world or from the people. Right. He cried, Abba. He knew the only justice there was for him was for the death of this cross to be conquered, right? Yeah. He saw the injustice that came upon him was the death, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And he said, the only justice from this death is going to be found in God, right. overcoming it in my flesh. And then cried out, Abba, yeah. and he found justice, right? It's the same thing for all of us. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what little things people say or do or what, they, what can happen to us. All those things are the fruit of death. They're remnants of death. And so that the only thing that can serve us with justice in the face of a perverse world that's filled with death is God and what he did to conquer death in the flesh of Jesus. Yes. And that's where we want to look. But we won't if we think the person is the enemy or the father of, of, of what happened instead right. of death is the father. Right. Right. right? Death is the father of whatever ails your life. Yeah. It isn't people. It isn't circumstance. It's death. Right? So you want to at least understand who is the enemy. If you don't know who the enemy is, you can be all the time fighting people that aren't the enemy. Yeah. Right? Shadow boxing. Like Paul said, we war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Right? Yeah. And he's not talking about some demons floating around that's been assigned to Slidell. <laughs> he's saying there's a system of sin and death in this earth. And the death that's in this earth is stinging people's hearts. And it's taking them captive to a life of laboring and toiling. That's the system we live in. Sure. Well, whenever there's a world filled with people laboring and toiling for life, guess what's going to happen? Bad things. And guess who it's going to happen to? Everyone. Everyone. So we're not warring against the people that are taken captive. We see the war is against the thing that's taking them captive. And so what's taking them captive? Death. Right? Right? We're all our days held in captivity through the fear of death. And so whatever harm anybody could do to you, death is what has fathered that fruit in their life. So death is the enemy, not the person. Now, what are you going to do about the death in the world? Do any of you think you're going to get enough people in your life to act the right way and they're going to conquer death? Do any of us think we're going to get people to treat us the right way and then find death absolved? All right, so none of us see that people have any power to do away with death, right? Right. Okay, so they're powerless to do away with death. So why am I going to busy myself with them in the day the death in the earth touches my life? 
I'm not. No. I'm going to be busy with the only one who can actually do something about death. The answer becomes obvious. At right. Point. I'm, yeah. going to, I'm going to be busy with the only one that, possess, that possesses a life that can even be filled with love and peace even as death has come upon it. Sure. I'm 